Good morning. All right, today is Thursday, May 4th, and it's just before 12.30 p.m., so in the afternoon. I'm doing sprints with Brittany and Rainy right now, so we are about to go ahead and start the 24-hour challenge. So, if you've never seen me do this before, I've only done it once, one time. Um, this is different than like my 24-hour sprints where like you're on live for 24 hours. Some people do this, or people do this one of two ways. So they either do it the timer method or they read for 24 hours straight. I'm not going to read for 24 hours straight. Um, I'm going to use the timer method. So I'm going to set a timer for 24 hours. Whenever I start reading, I will start the timer. Whenever I stop reading, I will stop the timer. It's basically how this will work. I am this time going, so I did this once last year with Brittany. We did it as a collab video. And I told myself that I was only going to read on my Kindle or physically. And then I stressed myself out. So I'm going to allow any books to count for this. So audio, physical, or ebook. I'm probably going to stick to audio and ebook. I'm not really picking books up physically right now, but I do want to try to get through my TBR. So by the time you see this, my Gilmore Girls TBR game should be up. The eight books that are on there, we're not going to talk about them right now because I'm not reading any of them right now. Those, um, I'm going to try to get through some of those as well. We'll see what happens. But the first book that I'm going to start with is Terms and Conditions. This is the second book in the Dreamland Billionaires series. And I am 48% through this book. So I have about three and a half hours left of this book. Like I said, I am on sprints. So as long as I'm reading with sprints, the timer will be started. So I have this set right now for 24 hours. So we're going to go ahead and start reading. And I will check in probably at the end of the three and a half hours. Like whenever I get this book done, I will come back and check in and let you guys know what book I'm going to move on to. Good morning or good afternoon for y'all it's about 3 15 on friday may 5th um right before this there's a little clip of how far we've come so i've got about 17 hours left on the timer and i'm going to be picking up the last invitation so i did start this last night i read a good chunk of or listened to a good chunk of hooked last night as well um but before i went to bed for the last little bit i of time to time I read the last invitation I read about the first five chapters so I did find the audiobook at the library so I'm gonna be doing kind of an immersion read with that I was originally reading it on my Kindle but I I need to be able to do other things so we're going to pick up the audio for this as well I will follow along a little bit too just because I can I don't know a ton about this book I know it's Darby Kane's newest um, and it's about like a secret society or something so that's that's where we are okay that's where we are so when i get it i'm putting hooked on hold um probably um, i don't know who has sprints next for it i know leandra has sprints on friday so i may wait until friday to pick hooked back up just because i am listening to it as an audiobook so it's taking me way less time but let's go and start this. Hello. So I have just finished the last invitation. Five stars. Um, so this is book two for the 24 hour challenge. And we are at 12 hours and 20 minutes left on our timer. So, we're making really good progress. I am going, the next book I'm going to be picking up is That One Night. This is a novella. It's not very long. Um, I think it's less than 200 pages. Let me just look for y'all. But this is the prequel novella to Pucking Around. And I want to read that. So, with this challenge... Um, if I didn't already say it, I think I did at the beginning, but I'm kind of just mood reading through this. So 
The last invitation is a book that is on my Stars Hollow TBR, which is already up by the time that you are watching this challenge video. So I am kind of trying to get one, like kind of do it back and forth. So read a book that's on my TBR and then read a book that's just like a mood read. So this was the one that looked the best to me on my TBR for right now that's not a reread again five stars i darby kane is an auto buy author for me so i've read everything by her so pretty little wife and um the replacement wife those were the first two and the books that she read they're all standalones and they're all psychological thrillers and they're just amazing this one i was iffy about it because i'm not a huge secret society person but then the twists, like, there were more than one. There were at least three twists that I can think of. And wow, so good. So, the next book I'm going to be reading is That One Night. It is 124 pages. And then after that, I will pick up Pucking Around. So, when I opened Pucking Around, these are all on KU. By the way, these are KU romances. Um, it said that you should read That One Night first. But it also is like, if you don't want to read it, it gives you, like, a breakdown of what happened. But I was like, I'll just read it. That's fine. So this is by Emily Rath and it is part of the Jacksonville Rays hockey series. I don't know. But I've been seeing the, this series all over like Instagram recently. And I'm just going to call her my friend. So she sees this and she's like, girl, I don't know you. But my friend Brittany, who runs the shop Gigi and Bo, which is where I get all of my awesome bookmark so shout out to Gigi and Bo um she was reading it and I had seen a few other people picking it up but I tend to really take what Brittany says um into consideration so that's what we're going to be starting I am taking a little bit of a break uh from reading because I'm going to do a few other things but I wanted to pop in and let you guys know that I did finish the last invitation I feel like we're doing so well with this 24 hour challenge and I think a big part of it is that I'm not stressing myself out. So if you're watching this and you wanna do this, as someone who, this is the second time that I've done this and I'm way more chill this time, my advice to you is to just allow yourself to read what you're gonna read and at the pace that you're gonna read it, you know? Um, yeah, so we're almost halfway through and I'm so happy for that. So I will check in when I finish another book. Hello. All right, so I'm listening to uh, I Spied at Barbarians number five because I'm making supper. So I needed something that was an audio and I do not have audio for pucking around. I don't want to buy it and I don't know where I would find it. So I don't have the audio for that. But I am listening to I Spied at Barbarians five. It's fine so far. Um... I like it a lot more than I liked number four. So there's that. There's there's that. So we are sitting at nine hours and 12 minutes. I didn't read as much as I wanted to yesterday. I only read for like an hour yesterday. So I'm hoping to get a bunch of reading done before I go to work. So probably I'm going to be sticking to audio until I go to work. So hopefully I'll be able to finish this and then also like maybe move on to the next one. I don't know. My Hoopla has all of them. My public library also has all of them through Libby. But Hoopla, I almost never have um, like a wait for, for books, for all, especially audios. So I get a lot of my audios from Hoopla. So I'm going to wait for this. I'm going to preheat so that I can make pizza. And then I'm just going to keep listening, I think, because I can listen and like do other things like i can listen and do my planner or listen and play a game like so that's what we're gonna do um i have been reading pucking around still and i do really enjoy it but i don't think it's gonna get done in this 24 hours because uh i have been mostly using my kindle at work or um in bed and I'm not timing myself for those times because I will fall asleep and not remember where my timer should have stopped. So here's, I, my goal is to get down to, let's see what time it is. Uh, okay, so it's five o'clock. So I have to leave here 
in like two and a half hours. So I'm, well, two hours and 45 minutes. So I'm hoping to get at least two hours down before I go to work. So I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching. Hello. Good morning. It's really afternoon for y'all. It's like morning for me because it's time I get up. So it's a little bit before three o'clock. It's like 2.50, I don't know. Um, I'm waiting for Ari's bus. So I'm still reading Pucking Around, but I wanted to give an update on reading progress. Uh, well, time or progress. I have about six hours, six and a half hours left. So I'm going to be finishing today. So today is Wednesday, the 10th. 11th 10th I think it's the 10th so this is taking me like a week to do I knew that it probably would because I don't count reading that I do at work the reason for this is because I don't have time all the time to start and stop the timer and start and stop the timer so I just have given myself grace on that but I probably will be finishing today uh like I said I am still reading pucking around um wonderful book honestly this book has me in a chokehold and i will finish pucking around during this last six hours so i'm 79 percent through and it says i have like three well two and a half hours of read time left in this book i have no idea what i'm going to read after this i don't know um i don't know i may pick up the novella because there's a second novella that takes place four years after the events of this that are apparently just like scenes that show us what's happened afterward so I may pick that up um I don't know and I don't know that I'll finish a whole book unless I do novellas or something like that so that's the plan today I'm going to finish pucking around and then figure out what I'm going to read after that but we're going to try to finish the six hour timer today. I have some laundry I need to get done. But laundry can mostly wash itself once I actually like put it in. So that's our plan on this here day off is just to read and hope that I can get this timer done. Hello. All right. I am getting ready for sprints right now uh, on my channel. But I want to pop in and let y'all know that I did finish pucking around. I gave it 4.75 stars. We still have about three and a half hours left on our timer. So I'm going to be reading, I think it's called Pucking Ever After, volume one. So it's like six short stories. Um, it's a novella. It's only like 200 and something pages, but it's a bunch of little like short scenes for, that are all um, team Price. So Team Price are the four people that are in the polyamorous relationship in uh, pucking, uh, pucking Around. Absolutely love them. And yeah, so I wanted to pop in and let you guys know three and a half hours left on this channel or on this s timer. I'm going to finish it tonight because I'm going to do sprints on my channel tonight. And also today is my one year booktube anniversary. So that's so fun. Hello. We have officially, what? We've officially finished 24 hour challenge. So I finished, um, in total, I read, I'm counting four complete books. So Terms and conditions, I was less than 50% when I started this, so I finished Terms and Conditions. I read all of The Last Invitation by Darby Kane. I read That One Night by, well, all three of these books are by Emily Rath, but I read That One Night, Pucking Around, and Pucking Ever After, Volume 1, all by Emily Rath, all in the same series slash universe. So, how do we feel? I feel uh, good. So I had one, two, I had two five-star books, one four-star book, and two 4.75-star books. And then I also started 
little doves i got 33 pages into this it's really good but i'm gonna put it down for the night because there are multiple character povs in this and i'm starting to get confused now that it's like three in the morning well it's 3 45 so i feel like we had a successful 24 hour challenge this time around last time was you know a little rough when i did it with Brittany, but i think allowing myself a full week to do this and not like beat myself about it um was really helpful also on sprints earlier amy and i were talking and it was really like i averaged around three hours per day over the seven days and that seems like a lot but that's basically like one like that's like watching someone sprints like normal sprints is three hours so i'm calling this a success to be honest um, if you guys want to see me do this again, let me know, but I am going to close out this 24 hour vlog so I can edit it and it can go up. But if you guys want to see me do this again, let me know. I probably won't do the like stay up and read for 24 hours straight. The reason is because I can't even read for 24 hours straight on my 24 hour sprints. Like I don't even read the entire time that I'm on those. So I just don't feel like that would be successful for me but i am willing to do it again uh this way with the timer method if you guys want to see that so let me know down below let me know if you've read any of the books that i read during this 24 hour reading challenge um all of them except the last invitation are on kindle unlimited so if you if you are interested in any of the books that i read all of them except the last invitation are on kindle unlimited so go grab them and that's really all I have so I'm gonna go to bed now <laughs> that I finished love you guys so much thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye